हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द क्लाउड विथ यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू माइग्रेट गूगल वर्क स्पेस ड्राइव कंटेंट टू शेयर पॉइंट साइट सो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू हैव एक्टिव माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव बिजनेस सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड अ गूगल वर्क स्पेस सब्सक्रिप्शन फर्स्ट वी नीड टू गो टू द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव एडमिन सेंटर सो वी विल क्लिक ऑन द एडमिन टू गो इन टू द थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव एडमिन सेंटर वंस वी एंटर इन टू द थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव एडमिन सेंटर वी नीड टू क्लिक ऑन सो ऑल ऑप्शन सो हेयर यू कैन सी शेयर पॉइंट ऑप्शन सो क्लिक ऑन द शेयर पॉइंट ऑप्शन टू एंटर इन टू द शेयर पॉइंट एडमिन सेंटर सो वंस वी एंटर इन टू द शेयर पॉइंट एडमिन सेंटर वी नीड टू क्लिक ऑन द माइग्रेशन ऑप्शन so here you need to select google workspace because we are migrating google workspace drive content to sharepoint sites so click on get started under the google workspace so first you need to connect your google workspace account to microsoft 365 so we will click on connect to google workspace so here you will need to install the migration application in Google Workspace. So we will click on Install and Authorize. So it will take us to the Google Workspace Marketplace. Make sure you are logged in Google Workspace account with the admin credentials. So we will click on the Admin Install, and here we will need to click on the Continue button. so here we will need to select the option everyone at your organization and agree to the applications policy and click on the finish button here you can see microsoft 365 migration application has been installed now click on the done button now we will need to go back to the sharepoint admin center we have installed the application so we will need to click on the next button so now you have to authenticate google workspace account so we will click on the sign in to google workspace here we need to log in with google workspace account so we will log in with this account here you can see we are successfully connected to google workspace so click on the finish button here you can also see the status as connected now we need to sync our drives so in the scan section we will click on add source path we will choose the option look for new users and groups in google workspace and we will choose automatically scan content and click on the add button it will automatically sync google workspace drives and here you can see your drives has been listed here the scan result you can see here it's in queued now okay now you can see that scan result has completed so drive has been successfully synced to Microsoft 365 so now we will choose these drives and click on copy to migrations to complete the migration process so here again click on copy to migrations so once we have copied these app to the migration we need to go to the migrations tab so we will click on the migrations here here you can see both the drive has been listed first we will need to map the destination so microsoft has automatically mapped the destination so if you need to add it you can add it so we will click on first drive and add it the destination here so we will choose sharepoint and here we will choose a sharepoint site so we will choose communication site here now we need to choose a library here so we will choose documents and click on save path same thing we have to 
do for the other users also so we will choose this users edit destination path we will choose here share point here we will also choose communication site so we will choose here documents and we will click here on save path so once we have successfully mapped the destination path now we need to map the identities so we will click on map identities option here you can see mapping has already done automatically so we will edit it click on this and we will select domain as this one so click on the save button and mapping is needed for the group so we will map it click on this we will select a group like classroom and we will save it if you have not created a group in 365 account then you need to create a group also so once mapping has done we will go back to the google workspace migration so once we have completed all these steps we need to choose these drives and click on the migrate option here we need to again click on the migrate so you can see that the migration has started it will take some time to complete the migration process here you can see the migration status also once the migration will be completed you will see the status as completed here so you can see that the status for abhishek drive has been completed and for the manoj is in finalizing state so wait for some time as you can see here the status for manoj has also been completed now we will check our sharepoint site if the migration has been completed successfully or not so we will go to the microsoft 365 apps here under all apps we need to select sharepoint this is our communication site we will choose this and we have selected the folder as documents here you can see the files have been migrated from google workspace drive to sharepoint site so with the help of these steps you can successfully migrate google workspace drive content to the sharepoint site and one more thing if you do not know how to create sharepoint site you can check the link in the description for the same thank you guys for watching the complete video if you have any queries regarding this you can ask us in the comment section Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Also follow us on other social media platform. Social media links are in the description.